real DSLR was a night. Sorry, our first DSLR was the Nikon D3300, not the lipstick red version. A lot of buyer's remorse since I decided not to go with the lipstick red. But I remember that camera really well because it was the first time I tried shooting with manual mode and um, the camera I fell in love with photography with. So uh, I love that camera. Since then, of course, we sold it. We moved into Canon. We then moved into Fuji. I don't think we've shot with a Nikon body since. I may have, I may have tried it a bit with some of my students who shoot with it, but other than that, nothing serious. But I have a really good friend um, that we met through this vlog, actually, his comments in the vlog, that's Daniel Eubank. But one of his favorite bodies is currently the Nikon D500, and he's told me that I should give it a try. Um, but I'm always anxious to try new things. I like playing with toys. Um, I don't have any brand affiliation or anything like that. I'm not religious about Fuji. Um, so I'm always willing to try it and I've been anxious actually to give it a shot just again just because of his recommendation. So borrowlenses.com has given us, not given us, they've borrowed, they've lent, they've let us borrow a D500 for a few days, which is rad. Thanks, Bar Lenses. That's cool of you guys. Also, we do have some discounts from them that they're passing on to you guys, which is cool. So check those out below if you're, if you're interested in renting lenses in the near future or bodies or whatever. They are not a sponsor of this channel, nor do we get any kickbacks or money from the discount codes. We just like them and they send us gear to play with, so. I don't usually use this knife. I just couldn't find anything else. Don't worry, it's just the lens filter. You'll have to forgive me, but I am kind of in a hurry. So the video is just, you know, it is what it is. And they were cool with me uh, just taking the filter off and it came off without too much trouble. I was worried that it would get stuck. So we're still greenlit for using this tonight. But before I do that, before I go and shoot, and it, what is it tonight we're doing? Uh, an engagement shoot? Grimble something. Before we do that, uh, I need to understand this camera a little bit better. I need some practice with it. So I have studied it a bit and then I am going out right now to take some photos for my kid's school. They're doing some like uh, Voyager to Mars simulation. So I get to go photograph that. I'm gonna use this thing to practice on. Have you seen those bikes that are treadmills? No, you're talking about it. Why would you, why would you ever wanna do that? Because I hate riding a bike. I like to How run and walk that though. better? Because it's walking. You get to sit down on a bike. Remember how we used to like go exercise together and I would run and you would bike? Yeah, and I, I, didn't, I didn't way rather be running I didn't than get biking. any exercise when we did that and I looked like a douchebag. But let's talk about our photo duel tonight. What are we gonna do? We're doing a bride and groom a couple weeks before they're getting married. A month, a month before they're getting married. These are a prepared bride and groom. I already did an intro of this thing. Oh good. Kind of. You're I mean, gonna shoot. you're gonna know. shoot with what lens is it? I was yeah. telling the vlog yesterday yeah. about how we our first real camera was an icon. Do you remember? Yeah. You liked that camera. Anytime I sell a piece of gear, Danae like has you're to go through morning. Well, you get me attached to something, then you rip it away from me. That's why she's forbidden me from selling the XD2. Forbidden. Have I? I don't know. You haven't. I don't know. You mean you're okay if I sell it? No. I'm not gonna sell it. I like it. But it looks really heavy. It is. I'll, I'll let you feel it when we go. Oh, we're at a stoplight. Oh my god. I mean, it's not as heavy as the Mark II with the 85 millimeter or something like that. You don't think? No, but it's. it's and mostly this is the lens. The, 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 the Sigma 51 2 is a beast. Two things you should know if you're watching our photo duel for the first time are. Number one. <laughs> we're gonna shoot with two different cameras, but we're not gonna get the exact same photos. So this isn't like a direct comparison video. It'll give you an idea of some of the things we get with two different cameras, but you should not take this as a review or a direct comparison of two different gear. We just shoot with two different pieces of gear and 
that adds to the fun for us. We like to play, well, I like to play with new toys. She always just shoots with the X-T2. So that's number one. But if you are here because you're interested in a direct comparison between these two cameras, I will do another video which will do that. Number two, vote in the comments for who took the best pictures. We've never been to this location before. It's pretty. Yeah. Oh, key card required. Ventilators are so awkward. <laughs> We don't normally use continuous lighting, but I don't have receivers for the Nikon, so we are this time. My phone fell in the water. I put it on silent and as I was putting it back in my pocket, it slipped out of my hand, fell in the little pond, and the X-T2 was on my neck, hovering over the water, and I'm trying to scoop up my phone as fast as I can to get it out of the water without getting the camera in the water. It was kind of a whew, moment. That was a riveting story, thank you. <laughs> the, the phone survived. It's working.